What's it been like the last few days after that play? Has, have you heard about it kind of nonstop? Or kind of? Uh, you know, I heard I heard about it, you know, a couple of times, well, a lot of times, but. You know, our thing is, you know, it was just a play to move on to the uh, to the next game. You know, we can't be stuck on that one play because we got another great team coming up. Jess, it looked like you were ready for that shovel pass there early in the game. Yeah, uh, we've been beat on it, beat on the last three games. You know, um, coming in the game, me and, me and Frost was talking about like one of us got to stop that play, and uh, I, I totally like uh, didn't even do my assignment because I, I mean I read it. You know, I supposed to have it back on the play, but I uh, I seen it coming, so I just went on ahead and played with instinct. But uh, I'm pretty happy that we uh, actually stopped it because maybe we'll stop getting it uh, week after week after week. What about the option? Do you guys feel better on the option now? Um, we we know we know when we're gonna get the option, and you know, uh, this teams go to when uh, we in, when we in back front, and you know we, we practice it all through the week, so I feel like we're pretty good on it. So what does Ellis Johnson say when you don't do your assignment but make a great play? Is he happy about that, or, or what, what happens there? I feel like there's not very much he can say, but, you know, he, he really don't say a lot. And, uh, I mean, he, he, he tells us to play inside the scheme, so as long as we make play inside the scheme, and, uh, you know, uh, especially, like, if it, like if it's a running play, like, he's real physical towards the run. He wants to, to not uh, let, let a, a team get a certain amount of yards, and I feel like we've been doing that pretty well also. Did, did you and Chris come in kind of fired up to, to make linebackers – a bigger strength of this team than, than it had been regarded as the last few years. Yeah, when we, I, I would say it came between around the second game. You know, uh, I feel like we felt like that the Auburn linebackers were getting a lot of uh, recognition, and uh, you know, me and Frost, me and Frost trying to take it upon ourselves, you know, uh, to make those linebacker plays that you know those great guys made you know, when they came through Auburn, and uh, I feel like we're doing pretty well at that. We take, uh, we take uh, us being on the field at the same time is pretty serious, you know. We feel like we're going to feel the same time. We got a great chemistry. And, uh, you know, when I'm wrong, he made me right. And when he wrong, I make him right. And I feel like that's how I got to be. We spent a lot of time in the offseason talking about your move to middle linebacker. I know it's hard in the middle of the season to take a step back. But can you think about how you've transitioned and some of the things you've learned and how you feel you've progressed in, in that process? I love it. I love being, you know, being a man of the defense. And uh, I, just, I just love to hear, hear people say, well, uh, you know, your defense, you know, uh, you make the call, stuff like that. And, uh, I mean, coming from that transition, it's not very much. It's just being more vocal. And uh, you're not – as a middle linebacker, you're really playing a lot of space in this defense. And, uh, you know, I, I make a lot of plays uh, inside the box, and the play that I make outside the box is off effort. And, uh, you know, he, he said – Coach Johnson sets me up to make uh, – make for me to make plays that I should make. And, uh, I mean, transition it, – transition, it's not – it's not very different, you know. I can go back, go back to play Will, and uh, it, it wouldn't be no different. I know you did it as a true freshman. It was different defenses, but just what's the biggest difference from when you were a true freshman trying to be middle in that defense to, to this defense? Yeah, it's a big difference. Like I mean, the the verbiage, you know, the the, the play call is like probably like a sentence long, and uh, I mean, you with Coach Johnson, like you you don't have anybody have somebody on your back, you know, uh, waiting for you to do wrong, like he expects you to do right, you know. I mean, he, he actually coaches you and stuff like, you know, yelling at you. And, you know, he, he, he makes you feel comfortable. He, make, he makes you feel like it's all right to mess up. And, uh, you know, when you mess up, you know, you just got to learn from it and keep going. And uh, it's, just, it, it's totally a big difference from, uh, from that defense, my freshman year, and this defense. Just you can play, you play faster. What's the key to the improved passers Saturday? Was it individual play? Was it the schemes you guys were running? Uh, pass rush? Mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 we found we found out something that they couldn't handle and we went with it. And uh we found out that it, you know a good fire they couldn't handle and uh we just went with it and uh it was uh I mean it was a success and uh I mean it, it wasn't a plan coming to the game but you know, we ran it one or two times, we were like, Oh man, they can't handle it so we kept on going the whole game. Sometimes it gave me the freedom to uh call it myself when I felt like uh felt like it was a, a past situation. I feel like I made some good decisions and, uh, I mean it's just something that they couldn't handle. It's called a gut fire? Yeah. And what happens on that play? Uh, I don't want to talk about it specifically. <laughs> How important is that going forward, especially Saturday going against the freshman quarterback? Um, I mean, we, we get into the game plan today, so I mean, I really don't, I really don't, don't know much right now. But uh, we gonna, I'm pretty sure we're gonna pressure and uh, trying to make it, trying to make uh, like another LSU game. Can't you know, put pressure on the quarterback. Sorry, when, when you're on that play, when you and Chris are both blitzing in the A-gaps, how often would you say it is that, because you both pursued it afterward and obviously made the play that happened, but how often do you say that you are able to make a play in pursuit 
after blitzing in the A gap on a, on a play like that? Oh, uh, and, and it, I mean, any time. I mean, is it pretty rare that you're able to actually get back and, and make a stop when you, when you're supposed to be? Yeah, presenting? yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, on uh, on, on plays like that, it's all about what you see. You just got to play with your eyes. And that's basically what we do. What we did. The touchdown to Ingram when he kind of ran that little that little out route. Mm -hmm. Did you think you were just going to keep going toward the the boundary? I guess. See, no, they, 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 the offense the offense is similar to ours, and uh, you know, is uh, he started off started off as like a horn, like we call it a horn, when he loops around and tries to block the, uh, block the backer. And uh, we thought it was a run, so we read run. And of course, the linebackers got to step up and uh, defend the run. And uh, I mean, he got he got behind linebackers, you know. Then that becomes the safety job. But uh, I mean, the whole defense just read run. It was just a great play by them uh, in the coverage we was in. Do you wonder if that's going to be Ricardo Lewis, Chris Davis type play that people remember for a long time? That fumble? Um, no. Nah. No. Not at all. I mean, that's those those plays. I mean, you got to think of the moment and the time of the year. You know, we had to have wins in those plays. You get tired of hearing you can't like the team can't pass rush. You know, throughout the first seven games, it seemed to be what everybody's talking about. You get tired of hearing about that? No, nah, I mean, we 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 come along. I mean, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You know, the next day, the next day, like we we are we gonna get better, and uh, it's it's going it's, it's getting better actually. If you ask me, and if you ask the unit, and you know, I don't get tired of it. We just gotta you know show up.